Greetings everyone. In this video tutorial, we will share a couple of ways to hide and password protect your folders and files on your computer. Combine any of these methods that works best for you. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Anyway, for this example, this is the file we want to hide. Let me create a folder and name it hide and then put this file inside it one of the easiest but not secure method is right click properties hidden and ok so the file is hidden but again to recover it simply go to view and tick on hidden files and the folder will be visible so this is not that secure let me unhide it and as well hide the hidden items as before. Anyway, this is the first way but not that secure. The other way is by doing through command prompt. For that, open this folder, click here and click on CMD. What it does it, it will open CMD with the same location as you can see. I'll close this. Since the location is inside the hide folder, type CD and two dots and enter. Now we are a step back to the folder that is desktop. So I want to hide this folder. Simply copy this and paste it. Replace the folder name with hide and enter. So again the folder is hidden. If I go back to my computer, view, hidden items, the folder is still hidden. It's not shown as you can see. But again, in this method, if you go to Options, View, untick this option, Yes, Apply and OK, then again this will be visible. Depending on your requirement, you can use this method. If I go back and tick this option again, the file will be hidden. I will untick hidden items as well. You can get the folder back by replacing plus with minus. So the folder is back. Close this. The other method is right click on the folder, click on properties, go to security and edit. And edit the user, possibly do it for all the users and click on deny all, ok, yes, ok. Nobody will be able to access the folder. You will also not be able to delete this folder. So if this works for you, you can use this. But again, to access the folder, go to properties, go to security, click on edit, select the user and then untick everything. OK and OK. Then the file will be as before and accessible. So one of the best ways to protect files and folders would be using WinWAR. If you don't have WinWAR, watch the video till the end. Anyway, right click on it, add to archive and then set password. If only set a password, you can use any password. Click on OK and OK. Then there will be a zip file. If I open it, you can see what's inside. But of course, to access it, you will require a password. But if you don't want to show what's inside the zip file, let me delete this. Right click, add to archive, set password, also tick on encrypt the files and write any password. OK and OK. So now what's inside will not be visible. And of course the wrong password can't have access to the file. Only with the right password you can access the file. So then you can delete the original folder and this zip file will be the final files. Now if you want to add another protection, then you can open the command prompt. I will open the folder and use cmd as this is easier to go to the location. Once it's open, type cd with two dots so it goes a step back and then copy this and paste. So the file name is hide asterisk.zip sorry rar and enter so it's hidden 
If anyone goes and clicks on hidden items, it won't be seen. In order to see that, you will have to go to Options, View and click on this and OK. Then this will be visible, but again it will require a password. You can as well enhance the security by going to the Properties and Security and Edit Permissions as we did earlier. For those who don't have WinRAR, simply open your browser and search WinRAR. And you will see this, click on Download. And you can download and install the version you require. Hope this lesson was helpful to you. Thank you very much.